I think Deloitte is like anybody's dream, one of the best companies that comes to our college as well. And um, it was the first company that came into our college and one of the first interviews that I sat in. So um, I was very, very hopeful to get the job for sure. Also, the role was something which was uh, very different and very interesting. The first project that I worked on was to formulate a marketing strategy for that team I was working on, which is uh, data and integrations. And uh, they were using traditional methods back then. And I had to you know work with the industry experts and get the industry standards at that point of time and uh, it was really exciting for me to work with i did not find much difficulty because jp morgan chase work culture is such where people are very open you can approach them you can ask for help I was born and brought up in Chennai and I'm a chemical engineer and I've worked uh, with a company called Freshworks in Chennai as a uh, senior business development executive for three years. I was in IT sales before this. While I was working in Freshworks, I had the opportunity to you know, interact with a lot of C-level executives from different countries because mine was a customer facing role. That's when I reassured myself that a master's degree would be a perfect balance for my background where I come with a set of technical skills and I would be gaining a lot of uh, uh, management wise expertise as well. Bioinformatics, yes, it's a very specialized and niche course and in India there is lesser amount of scope as compared to the other countries like US and UK. Uh, there I got the exposure to big data analytics and a lot of these analytics work that usually in, even in the business world we do. So that kind of uh, gave me an interest and you know push towards getting into the analytics domain. Um, while I was working as a research associate in Sinjin International, so there uh, the town halls used to happen. I was in touch with some of the managing directors of the company. So there the financials, the strategies, business development, everything kind of piqued interest in me. And that is where I thought that yes, maybe I can think of management as a career path. Uh, during my uh, undergraduation, um there was a course called Plain BBA and there was a course called uh, BBA specializing in finance and international business. It was a specialized course and uh, it was the first time I think they were offering the course and it, it had the option of uh, spending two years in uh, Christ University campus in Bangalore and spending one year abroad. So I was quite attracted to that and I had enrolled in that but I wasn't uh, more into finance basically. After a point, on, point in time I realized that uh, I need to do um, management education because uh, when I looked at uh, many of the senior leaders, uh, they all had a, a management degree and they were like uh, quite well versed in managing people and getting things done. So TAPNI was a choice from the very start because uh, finance is really good in TAPNI and there's a lot of scope here. There is holistic and experiential learning that is imparted. So that kind of brought me to TAPNI. So I think when I first came in, I was um, a little intimidated because I did not exactly know how it's going to be working with people and studying with people who are a lot older than me. So initially I was a little intimidated, but um, I think coming in and actually studying with everybody was made it a lot easier and I think everybody was very welcoming. So I didn't exactly face that issue. Also because uh, I studied economics in my graduation, I had studied a lot of these subjects or at least uh, touched upon a lot of these subjects. But there were a few like marketing and operations which I had never touched before. So that was new to me and um, I think I found it very interesting. Most people think TAPNI is known only for its finance courses and pedagogy, but the interesting fact is that not many know that it's one of the very few colleges in the country with such a legacy, uh, which offers a specialized cohort for marketing and sales management. Like I had mentioned earlier, since I have a background of, uh, you know, SaaS sales that I've done, uh, I thought this would be the perfect place to channelize what I've learned before and also get the best out of the feed that's offered to me. And because I was also looking to shift into core marketing, so a win-win. JP Morgan Chase is was one of my dream companies actually and I was uh, shortlisted in it and I was very excited so I uh, talked to some of my seniors who are in JPMC already and uh, they told me that how the process usually works so we had online process due to COVID scenario and there were two rounds group discussion and personal interview round after the group discussion round I was pretty confident that I'll get into the second round because I could contribute uh, significant points in that discussion 
uh, the personal interview round was more of a conversation between the panelists and me and they were really intrigued by my uh, profile of course and um, i also asked a lot of relevant questions i was not sure if i'll be able to make it but i was very satisfied with the entire process around 6:30 pm uh, corporate engagement team uh, said that five of you have been qualified for the profile uh, so yeah i was ecstatic i think deloitte is like anybody's dream one of the best companies that comes to our college as well and um it was the first company that came into our college and one of the first interviews that i sat in so um i was very very hopeful to get the job for sure also the role was something which was uh, very different and very interesting me again now being a fresher was it was a little difficult for me to um try and understand how it's going to go to try and understand there's so much competition around me since everybody is a lot older and they have experience already and I don't come with that but um I spoke to my seniors about the role I spoke to um people working in Deloitte and I tried to understand uh, about the role and all about the KPIs went through the job description thoroughly so sitting for the interview was not too much of an issue um also i chose and i always choose to just be myself and be completely natural and speak completely naturally so it doesn't exactly feel like an interview or extremely formal so i think that's something that uh, really helped me in my interview and uh, that's what made it go so i was a product analyst intern in salesforce and i worked with the data and integrations which was part of the business technology function there uh, and during my tenure i was fortunate to not work in one but two projects with them and the best part about it was uh, they had curated the projects uh, keeping in mind the background that i came from and where i was coming from uh, which was great because uh, it led me to uh, put in my actual learnings from tap me into practical use the first project that i worked on was to formulate a marketing strategy for that team i was working on which is uh, data and integrations and uh, they were using traditional methods back then and i had to you know work with the industry experts and get the industry standards at that point of time and uh, it was really exciting for me to work with the second project was around data quality management which was the core uh, function of the role that i was in so it involved a lot of learning from my end and i had to go above and beyond my boundaries to do that both the projects came out really well in my opinion and the panel was really uh, happy with my outputs and they also told me that they'll be implementing it in the very next release uh, of this so my internship at nestle involved uh, doing primary market research at supermarkets in coimbatore which was my hometown so due to covid protocols i was uh, working from my hometown uh, it involved uh, getting uh, shopper insights in supermarkets uh, analyzing the raw data and giving actionable points for the company uh, i was in constant touch with uh, the nestle headquarters in gurgaon and the branch office uh, where uh, the people in the branch office uh, were constantly guiding us on what should be done and i was uh, covering almost about uh, 11 to 12 supermarkets in my city and it was uh, really a great experience interacting with uh, shoppers in a supermarket and i also got to meet and interact with uh, nestle distributors sales officers uh, distribution salesmen uh, area sales managers among others so uh, the role is corporate analyst development program this works uh, for three uh, parts actually process improvement analytics and project management so in my internship i had to work in two projects one was for process improvement and the other was analytics i did not find much difficulty because jp morgan chase work culture is such where people are very open you can approach them you can ask for help we got to interact with a lot of uh, senior level employees uh, the managing directors executive directors and how their journey has been in jp morgan chase and from the very first day uh, what we were told was ki try to learn as much as you can and interact with a lot of people in that way you will be able to understand what jp morgan chase is and how it works throughout those two months when i was interning with salesforce the best part was that uh, we had a faculty mentor that was assigned to us by the corporate engagement team and we had regular uh, meetings in terms of calls and emails they guided us through the entire process on the best practices that we could you know follow uh, while we were at the role and that kind of helped me get a better direction and also gain confidence which i think was a plus in me getting the ppo uh, well i have been here for about one and a half years in tapme and uh, I've been uh, handling placement activities uh, for the last six months. We do have a very strong emphasis on uh, industry connect because we believe that 
uh, students uh, going beyond the rigorous coursework that they go through. They learn a lot by working with industry practitioners and uh, applying those learnings through some kind of real world problem solving. Uh, for this, we have a mechanism called live projects. So these are some initiatives with which we connect with the industry going beyond the placement activities. Now, in terms of specific uh, uh, companies which visit TAPNI, uh, I would broadly uh, categorize them into three major sectors where 90% of our people get into. The first sector, I would say, is uh, consulting, wherein uh, the firms are uh, involved in uh, delivering the optimization of business processes and um, involving technology. So there are a whole bunch of companies which are working on that. And then the second big sector that we uh, work with is the BFSI, wherein all the leading banks and financial services institutions uh, visit us. And the third uh, big segment is uh, IT and analytics, we call it this way. These are companies which uh, uh, deliver products and services broadly catering to the IT and uh, analytics area. Uh, in terms of uh, establishing this connect, uh, what we do is we work with our alumni network, which is a, a 7000 plus network. And we have an established corporate partners already. And we also conduct some events. Uh, one of the flagship event that I can highlight is the Disha event, wherein uh, we have uh, corporate representatives visiting the campus and uh, interacting with the students and the faculty. So these are some of the ways in which we connect and these are the kind of companies that visit campus. With just a few months left for uh, me to you know, join Salesforce full time, uh, I've been talking to our senior batches to understand uh, if there are any specific requisites that I'll have to read about or do before joining uh, full time. So I'm taking that effort. Apart from which, uh, Salesforce has extended the access to their internal uh, learning platform, which is Trailblazer, which has around 1000 plus courses, uh, be it uh, company policies or uh, do's and don'ts and uh, intermediate and advanced courses to your particular role and roles across so that you have a holistic learning so i've been uh, taking time off my academic career to do that as well and uh, that's about it uh, and then i'm enjoying my last few months here in tap before i hit the ground we as an organization we as an institute we believe that giving students a long-term sustainable growth oriented career is the key rather than just placing them in a job as soon as they complete the program and in that effort uh, we focus on and we instill in the minds of people that um, if you deliver value consistently, then you will have growth in both roles and salaries. However, having said all this, we have had a very good run this year, for example, and we are very confident that we will be beating the uh, previous year's performance and uh, maybe even ahead of time. My main advice would be to tell everybody to just uh, firstly be themselves, just be however they are, and secondly, to very importantly believe in themselves. That's something that I wish I did a lot earlier in my life. I was very uh, skeptical of coming to a college with um, people who are a lot older than me, people who have experience from before. But um, I think from the time I started believing in myself and started believing that I can do what anybody else can, it made life a lot easier. So I think these are just a few things that I would want students to know. Enjoy your life entirely, be very happy, believe in yourself and I think you can do everything once everything is in place.